This is The Randy Rhodes Show on 960 KNEW and online at 960KNEW.com. Hi there, Dick Thorndike, BS News for this Friday, the 9th of March, 2012. And away we go. Dateline, old Mitt River. Mitt Romney has spent much of this week campaigning in Alabama and Mississippi. At times, it looks like a character from the show Mad Men has been accidentally transported into an episode of the Dukes of Hazard. Dateline, cha-ching! The numbers show that Mitt Romney does much better among extremely wealthy voters than he does with the general population. That explains why exit polls show the number one concern of Romney voters is finding a chambermaid who won't try to sleep with the butler. Dateline, the none percent. Mitt Romney's wife Anne said this week that she doesn't consider herself wealthy. She said she's, quote, poor in spirits. FYI, Anne, we don't like to be called poor. We prefer the term Romney deficient. Dateline, God gets quite irate. The city of Wilmington, Delaware, mocked the recent fetal personhood laws by passing a resolution that every sperm should have personhood. The move yes. had unintended consequences when a local high school boy was charged with mass murder based on evidence found in, you know what, I'm not even finishing this. Dateline, <laughs> move over Spicoli. Finally, televangelist Pat Robertson surprised everyone this week by calling for the legalization of marijuana. So if really? Pat Robertson had his way, the only available birth control method would be to get so stoned that you just decide to eat ice cream Funyuns and watch TV instead. What time is it? <laughs> it's getting closer to beer o'clock. Richard Thorndike, BS News. Have a great weekend. I swear it happened. All that I've told you has happened. It really has happened. Uh, we've lost Dennis Kucinich. Uh, we've gained Joe the Plumber. The jobs report is out. It is excellent. Consumer confidence in this country is way up. Uh, GDP is expanding. Uh, we are making more uh, money. Our wages are going up. Uh, the number of hours that we can work are going up. Uh, the Keystone Pipeline failed to pass the Senate, <laughs> which was just fabulous, based on an amendment that said the oil that's going through the United States, some of it has to stay in the United States. The Republicans went, oh, no, no, that's not the deal we made. Uh, but that's what you're saying on the stump. You're saying that if we don't do Keystone, then how can the president be serious about bringing down the price of, of oil? So we're saying, hey, why don't we talk to those uh, friendly Canadians and ask them if we could have some of their oil? The answer is no, you can't ask them. Can we ask them in a letter? No, you can't write them. Can we call them? No, you can't call them. Can we look in their direction and kind of like make a come hither look? to? No, you can't come hither. So it failed. There's a jobs bill that passed the House. Stunning. And Pat Robertson has come out for legalizing the marijuana.